This was where the passengers of United Flight 93 fought back and won. Shanksville, Pennsylvania, from New York to Washington, D.C., this was our only victory that terrible day. A few brave passengers said, let's roll, storm the cockpit, and save thousands of innocent people. He was one of the first people on the scene, Joe. My photographer and I were working nearby when we got the call. A plane crashed less than four miles from where we were. A resident 15 miles away videotaped the smoke. Explosion shook the house, clear over here. We arrived on the scene about 30 minutes after the accident. We got there so fast, I was able to walk right up to the crater. Where a plane earlier today around 10 a.m. crashed with 45 people on board. Nothing was there, no wreckage, no fire, only a row of burned trees. We thought it was a small plane at first. I was one of dozens of reporters who would descend on the FBI and Pennsylvania State Police any time they'd be willing to talk. The crash itself was devastating. Major Zabinka says the recovery of evidence is difficult because the parts scattered throughout the area are no larger than a briefcase. And then we started getting word of phone calls made by passengers. One man, Todd Beamer, was overheard saying, let's roll, moments before they fought back. Some heroic individual brought this plane down and how they avoided hitting a structure is beyond me. Uh, we're the ones who are grateful to their loved ones. Flight 93 was probably headed towards D.C., a second attack on the nation's capital. Instead, we were out in that field for the next two weeks. During that time and the following years, Todd Beamer's call to action was embraced by the military and became a phrase of hope for a nation demanding America pick itself up and let's roll.